Peace. What's happening, good people? This gift here for Pay Us No Mind. And today, we're talking about the top ways to promote your music on SoundCloud. Now, this is an update to a previous video I did called the top three ways to promote your music on SoundCloud. And we're going to touch on some of those because some of them are still relevant and others are not, you know? So, the number one way to promote your music on SoundCloud is still remixes and covers because search engines you know people go to google or whatever search engine bing and type in song titles like hotline bling or whatever they are looking for and that pulls up all songs with those with the same title anything title hotline bling will come up as a search result and if your song if your remix or your cover has that title then it might come up as a search result too. Same thing with people going to SoundCloud and running searches on SoundCloud for the song. If your song got that title, it comes up as a search result too. So doing remixes and covers is a way to jump on the coattails of something that's already hot and popping. Now, what makes that difficult for some artists is the fact that you're kind of like restricted to doing things that are popular. So songs that are like, being heavily searched for at a certain time or dominating the charts for the most part, you know, you got to cover those songs because covering like an old song, like let's say you're a fan of Billie Holiday and you want to do an old Billie Holiday song or you're a 90s hip hop fan and you want to do remix of old Jay-Z song or old Nas song. It's like there's not enough searches for those songs to really have like a profound impact on your numbers. So with doing things like that, it's more so triggering nostalgia from a pre-existing audience. If you have a pre-existing audience, like you already have a fan base and you circulate that to them, then they might spread that out to everybody else. So you got blogs on your side and you can get it to them to distribute to everybody else. Then yeah, doing old stuff will be effective. But if you don't really have that, if you don't have a pre-existing fan base and you don't have the blogs, you know, doing old stuff ain't really going to do much for you. So you got to do what's popular. And if you're not a fan of what's popular, then that becomes difficult to do. It comes, it's like twisting your arm. You know, you got to force yourself to do it. And if you force yourself to do it, it probably ain't going to come out too good. So you might be better off not doing it at all. Remixes and covers are very effective at driving traffic, but they're not for everybody. And in addition to that, you know, they don't drive traffic to your song. They drive traffic to you or your page rather, and they showcase your talent and yourself. You know, they put you on display and your talent on display. And the hope is that people will hear your talent and want to hear your original work and go and check out your original songs. You know, now that might not happen, you know, if people aren't really impressed by you like that. But the whole idea is that it will. Now, moving on you have what everybody says, which is spread your widgets. So post your, your music to your social media, get it on your website, send it out to blogs. Now the thing about that is this, right? That's what most people do by default. That's what most artists do by default, right? They put a song up on SoundCloud and then they post it to their social media page or in, you know, Facebook, Twitter, you know, send it out to their friends on through email, you know, put it on their website, send it to blogs, things like that, you know? But the thing is, artists who are asking themselves, well, how do I promote my music on SoundCloud? For the most part, they've already done that and they haven't gotten anything back, you know? Because doing that takes having a pre-existing fan base. You know, you have to have people who already are interested in your music on your Facebook page and on your Twitter page and things like that to, to, to post links for them to check out. If you don't have that, then posting your links ain't gonna do nothing for you. So you can kind of scratch that off the list unless you already have fans on Facebook or like a good support system on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. If you don't have a good support system, then just spreading your widgets isn't really gonna be some effective thing like that, you know? Now, number three on the list, and this is another thing that you will see on a lot of how to promote your music on SoundCloud list, and that's following other SoundCloud users and commenting on their tracks and things like that. Now, I'm not a big fan of that for various reasons. One being that it kind of waters down the whole site and makes it spammy. And then that turns people off, like especially fans who don't really want to be bothered with spam. So they go away and then you just have a site where it's exclusively artists on there, you know, and then nobody is really reaching fans. You know, now in addition to that, it's also very time consuming, man, because if you're doing that, you know, then you have to do it to, you have to do it efficiently, basically. So you got to find 
not just any page to follow and comment. You got to find pages of people who are active, you know, who, who will actually see that you commented on their track and who will actually see that you followed them. And a lot of people don't really be on SoundCloud like that. You know, like they listen to SoundCloud tracks and that might be in their social media timeline, like their Twitter timeline or their Facebook news feed or on the blog or on the website or something like that, you know, but they're not on SoundCloud. They ain't checking into SoundCloud and like going through their feed and checking who followed them and you know going through their comments like that's not something that a lot of people do so you could go and follow like a hundred people and have only one of them recognize that you followed them and follow you back you know what i'm saying same thing with commenting comment on a whole bunch of artist tracks and have like one or two of them uh respond to you you know so you end up spending a whole bunch of hours following a whole bunch of people and commenting on a whole bunch of tracks to get like very small return on that you know so it can be a real big waste of time unless you're using bots and you're automating it you know if you're using like little machines you know like um what they call it yeah basically bots you know where you have a program running that's automatically adding people for you you know where you're not having where you don't have to do it manually and then you know you have to have that program go in and delete them after or, or unfollow the people didn't, who didn't follow you it's, just, it's still a process you know what I'm saying? And then SoundCloud has caps on how many people you can follow within a certain amount of time and how many people you can unfollow consecutive consecutively before, you know, triggering to the site that it's a spam account or something like that. You know, so there's a potential that you can get your site shut down, your, um, your page shut down or deleted or something like that. So there's dangers in that, too. You know, so it's a... a, 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 a uh, method of promotion that you can utilize. I'm not the best fan of it. I don't think it's the most efficient and the most effective, but sometimes it works and it will get you at least a few plays here and there. Now, aside from that, you know, on the previous one, the top three ways I mentioned groups, right? Where you can share your music, the groups and sharing your music, the groups was always good to get you like 10 or 20 plays and somebody might have added it to a playlist or reposted it and it's helped to expose it to more music but soundcloud has discontinued groups so there's no more groups so that's dead and done with right now if you have a little bit of money your options kind of open up right because you have what you call like some of these soundcloud networks where you have people who basically have built the fan base on SoundCloud. They have these vast followers, like thousands and thousands of followers on SoundCloud. And for a fee, they'll repost your track to their account or they'll upload it to their account that, you know, they're set themselves or they'll add it to a playlist or something like that. Now, that is good depending on the price, you know, $20, $17, you know, you can get you maybe a thousand plays, maybe a few hundred plays, something like that, man. But the whole thing is you don't know what you're going to get. That's the thing. It's a big question mark, you know, because they might have a really engaged follower, a really engaged followers who they repost stuff and then they check it out and you get a whole bunch of plays. And they also might be somebody who repost anything and post anything and put anything on a playlist where they had fans who or they had followers who were engaged at once upon a time but they ruined them with just basically sharing anything that people paid them to share and now they have a reputation for sharing crap and their followers don't pay attention to them anymore so it's like you don't want to use somebody who has that type of reputation you know and you don't really know whether they have that type of reputation or not you know you can go to their soundcloud page and look at you know the plays that the songs that they reposted have gotten but you know the, the the plays that's on the track could have come from anywhere it could have come from the the artists and what they uploaded directly themselves you know you don't know you know not you, you have to do a bit of investigation you can look at songs they reposted and then go to that web that that artist page and see whether he has similar plays and if an artist has like 100 plays but the one that got reposted by that account has thousands of plays then it might look good and say okay cool well damn he this guy was averaging like 100 plays and now he got reposted by this account and it got 100,000 plays or whatever have you then yeah that might showcase to you that that guy's audience is still engaged 
you know so that's one way you can do it and that's another way you can utilize to promote your music if you have some money to spend also if you have some money to spend you can advertise on social media you know like you can do like a facebook boost or a promoted tweet you know where you promote your soundcloud track on your social media page right now the thing with that is you know you can pay per click and paying per click ain't cheap you know what i'm saying like you can pay 25 cents per click on facebook it might cost you it might cost you between like 25 cents to like two dollars and change you know so you might spend like anywhere from 25 cents to 240 or 50 dollars for 100 hits to your soundcloud page now the thing with that is you'll get people to your soundcloud page you know where they can play your music and they can repost it and they can add it to playlists and things like that and they can follow you you know so those those visits might be well worth it it's just a matter of whether you have the money to invest in something like that or not now in addition to advertising on facebook and twitter and things of that nature you have something called feature.fm now feature.fm is a site that uh basically is almost like radio but they promote your music on 8tracks.com which is playlists and people listen to playlists and when the playlist finish they run your your uh, your, uh, your ad as an audio ad basically they play your song in between playlists so a playlist finish your song come on and with uh what they call a call to action where you could tell people you know to follow you on soundcloud or buy it or whatever have you now the thing with feature.fm is that the plays that your song gets on eight tracks are going towards your soundcloud your soundcloud plays so every time your song gets played as an ad on a track it will boost your soundcloud page so if you pay pay to get your, your song played a thousand times on a tracks then you will get a thousand plays on your soundcloud page you know now a tracks charges between two cents to four cents per play so a thousand plays might cost you anywhere from 20 to 40 dollars you know so you can generate you know plays for your soundcloud page like that now the downside to that is that you're not bringing people back to your soundcloud page so it's not as likely that you're gonna get followers and you're gonna get shares and you're gonna get reposts and things like that now because they do have the call to action if people are really feeling the song like that they can click the link to go to your soundcloud page and follow up is that your song got to be really powerful to motivate them to do that you know when, when people are on your soundcloud page it's easy because they already there you know so it's just like click of a button but when people are on another site they gotta leave that site to go to soundcloud you know to to engage in all that type of activity so they need more incentive you know and if your song ain't amazing like that you know it might not be enough incentive to drive them to do that it might not motivate them enough to do that you know now those were just some ways that you can promote your music on soundcloud I mean, if anybody knows any other ways, you know, speak up, post in the comments, let me know, let me know what some of the ways, things that I mentioned, what you got to think about some of the things that I had to say, make sure you follow the page, man, you know, like, share, comment, you know the drill, man, follow me on Twitter at PayUsNoMind, this is GIF, signing off, peace.